This session is sponsored by Davis, Graham, and Stubbs. Hello, everyone. Next up, we have a spotlight on distressed a and transactions. Many EMP companies are liquidity constrained and looking to raise capital via asset sales, whether or not in conjunction with a restructuring or bankruptcy. What should buyers and sellers know to make the most of a distressed sell transaction? And conversely, what potential risks should be acknowledged and, and avoided if possible? Now it's my pleasure to welcome JP Hansen, Managing Director and Head of the Oil and Gas Group of Poolihan Loki, who will provide insight into how to differentiate between opportunities and pitfalls in these A&D transactions. Hello, everyone. Um, so as Emily mentioned, uh, I am uh, the head of the oil and gas group at Houlihan Loki um, and uh, specialize uh, for those who don't know. And, and look, I'm, I'm an investment banker by trade, so I can't help but give some bit of commercial about Houlihan Loki and the oil and gas group at Houlihan Loki. Um, I guess we call that an infomercial, given that we're now virtual. Um, but uh, a little bit about the firm, uh, 1,600 bankers, 24 offices globally, a, uh, a wide variety of industries covered. The oil and gas group, uh, which I head globally, is 73 bankers across six offices, focused on up, mid, downstream. Uh, we have a nine-person oil field service team. We have an 11-person technical team. Uh, Houlihan Loki specializes in middle market transactions, M&A, A and D, private placement capital markets. Uh, we're the number one provider of, of placement agency services for private capital. We place about a billion and a half plus or minus per month. Uh, and historically about 30, 35% of that has been in energy. Um, so you can see some of our, our, our lead tables here. In addition to uh, traditional transactions. We also advise in uh, fairness opinions. We're the number one provider of fairness opinions in general board advisory and in financial restructurings. Um, the, one of the interesting things about Houlihan Loki and the oil and gas group is that it's a true cross product industry dedicated team. So industry first and foremost, um, we rather than having really good product specialists outside of our oil and gas group uh, who may or may not understand the industry, we house within the oil and gas group. So dedicated first and foremost to oil and gas, we house all of the uh, product line specializations uh, within our oil and gas group. So uh, M&A specialist, A&D and, and, and our technical team, uh, financial restructuring, fairness opinions, and, and valuation services. Uh, and we have a dedicated um, capital markets group as well. Uh, we will take the right side of uh, public underwritings, of course, but without a public sales and trading desk, uh, we align ourselves perfectly with our clients as an independent advisor. Uh, and, and really focus on the private side of, uh, of capital raising. You can see some, some tombstones and some transactions here just to highlight. So uh, as Emily mentioned, um, what we are focused on today uh, at least is um, transactions or potential transactions uh, on, in the A and D market uh, in and around distressed companies. There really aren't distressed assets, so to speak, right? There may be distressed companies and we can discuss a little bit what it means to have a distressed company, uh, but there aren't distressed assets per se. Um, with, with understanding what is driving or not driving the distressed a and D market, I thought it would be helpful to give some broader background and, and some of this may be redundant with, uh, with other speakers and, and none of this will be terribly surprising to those of us uh, that live and breathe this industry every day, um, but, but some of the backdrop might be helpful. So uh, obviously there's been uh, a, a stabilizing and improving on a relative basis commodity price 
uh, outlook over the past, you know, the back half of 2020 and the first part of 21. Energy has been